What is up my fellow creepers and things that go bump in the night. Welcome back to yet another episode of Creature of the Night. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell to let you know every time I upload so you can keep up to date with me, guys. So yeah, you know me. I do a lot of old school movies. It's just, I don't know. I just like them better, I guess. But uh, today I will be reviewing the 2020 The Empty Man. You can hear him, can you? Squirming his way into your thoughts. Like a disease... And his message is contagious. Starring uh, James Badge Dale, uh, Mar Marin uh, Ireland, Sasha Forlova, uh, Samantha Logan, director David Pryor. Uh, he actually did the, the, it was a story by him, a screenplay by him, and it was actually based off of, uh, I think it's called The Boom. It's a studio graphic novel, and that one, it was based off of a, uh, the Cullen uh, Bunnen graphic novel. Yeah, guys. Now, The Empty Man, it is a 2020 film, and we know how <laughs> that fucking year was hell for everybody, so why not make a fucking crazy-ass movie? But uh, this one, okay, so if you've, seen, if you've seen one, you've seen it all. There is no originality left in the world, let's just be honest. There's just only another way to tell the same story. But, you know, hey, sometimes it's a hit or miss. This one, uh, you know... Thumbs down, thumbs up, it just depends. So if you've seen uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, The Candyman, or anything involving uh, Bloody Mary, The Skeleton Key, it's it all revolves around, you know, how powerful your mind is. If you believe it enough, you know, it becomes real. I believe it's, I, I forget the, the actual equation that it laid out in the movie, but it was time plus, you know, concentration, I believe, equals flesh. So, you know, over time, just thinking about it, thinking about it makes it real. And essentially, this one is all different. The Empty Man, uh, apparently, I believe it's, it starts in Nepal, that there is a shrine, and it's a weird-looking skeleton that's, like, actually embedded in the wall. And these group of friends are up there hiking, and the guy slips down. He hears something calling him, and he slips down into an opening. That is definitely something that was supposed to be disguised, something that was never supposed to be found. And... <laughs> He, he just gets hypnotized by it and it, it turns out the best way I could put it is the way they put it He became an antenna. He's a beacon for the empty man. So like, you know conjuring up like ways he It's just the way he the empty man in the atmosphere or in the spiritual world wherever the fuck you want to say it is He channels through this guy and he sends out messages to his followers. He does have a cult uh, the, the proxitive or something like that society where they you know they believe this is the the almighty god or wherever the hell they believe and he's telling us what to do and we need to follow it and they <laughs> they're uh, getting kids into this cult and brainwashing them and having them do all this shit and they're uh, essentially their main goal is there was 500 years apart between an actual beacon was selected and to be selected uh to be a beacon you have to be completely empty i guess like you know you have basically you have nothing else to live for you uh you really don't have a past you really don't have any future you're just kind of stuck and you know you suffered a tremendous loss in your time so uh, something somebody that's empty so i guess no like somebody that's just kind of going through the motion is not really alive nor is he dead which is weird because the, the 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 person that they are beaconing off of is he actually had a girlfriend he did have mental issues but he was getting better and he was reconnecting with family you know going around the world traveling and stuff like that so it's whatever so they try to make their own and the, that's when we in, get introduced to the main guy the main star he he was an ex uh, cop and apparently that his family friend the daughter goes missing she becomes part of the society so it's it's up to him to go hunt well and it's weird because again it's it it goes with like you know a cult being built around something and then being based off of an urban legend too because how you summon the empty man is you you have to be on a bridge late at night you have to blow into an empty bottle if you find it there so you know i guess you know there's rules to this shit but whatever and you blow into the bottle and like it's like a whistle and it just summons them so the first day you hear him coming the second day you start seeing him come for you and then the third day he can actually get you that's essentially how it is which is weird because it really wasn't clear on why because the main chick it turns out you know she was uh, she was already following the society she was already interested in that her father had died so she really, and she really wasn't close with her mom so she kind of just reached out to i guess a family you know somebody that can accept her somewhere where she could feel safe i guess so and she gets her friends to do it and they all hang themselves 
So that's essentially how it did. Like, he comes to get you and he's fucking with you, but he doesn't actually kill you. He makes it look like you killed yourself. And even when, like, there was a point where, like, he's uh, he has a girl up by her neck in a, in a sauna and it shows that he's, like, repeatedly stabbing her in the face, but then it cut, you know, we get flashes of where it's actually her doing it to herself. So, I don't know, It's it was big on suicide and stuff like that. You know, as, and as he's going down this road discovering shit that he may or may not be actually real. I, again, I don't know, think they can just conjure something up out of fucking thin air. You know, they made this guy into flesh or whatever, but because he, when he finds her, he tells her, yeah, you know, I wrote your script. I'm the reason that, you, you know, that you went through all this shit. I even wrote your you, you yours and my mom's infidelity to each other because he ended up banging the mom on the, the funeral day when they buried her husband and all that. And at the same time, his family drove off a bridge and ended up dying. Fuck those story. Very sad. Very, very sad. But it was it was good, guys. Uh, I was at the edge of my seat. I was engaged, but more, yeah, because of curiosity and I was, like, fascinated. But more because I was kind of lost through the whole thing. Because, again, it's very vague on how they make this shit happen and how this guy is operating and how the empty man, you know, came to be. And kind of his whole backstory is a little weird. Even when they kind of explained it, saying, like I said, that he's, like, in the atmosphere. It's the connection between the spirit world and our world and... He, this is uh, we need antennas he's he's sending us transmission you transmit we receive and shit like it was just weird how they explained it it was still kind of clue i was still kind of clueless about it but i you know i thought the empty man his shrine looked pretty dope and when you saw him i guess it manifest into his spirit taking over the uh the detective and you know becoming him essentially uh, he looked pretty dope but it was kind of weird there was a tentacle at some point that came out of his mouth and Really didn't do nothing, didn't choke nobody or anything. He was just kind of flapping there. It, it was really weird. Again, it was like, it, it's very, it's definitely like left up. Like, you know, the audience, what do you think happened? And what do you believe this means or whatever? So, you know, you do have to do some thinking in this film. Uh, and then after, you know, finding this out, I, again, vague. Like after he got possessed by the empty man, he ends up killing the old beacon and now he's okay. So the, the beacon, the original beacon, like the body can only handle this power so much, which is explained in the film. And it, like his body, his body, he's in a coma and his body is withering away. So after that, he kind of like, op like empties the clip into the old beacon's head and, you know, kills him obviously. And now this guy's walking around and uh, apparently the hospital that he's being held in is actually all... Uh, cult members of the for the empty man and they, they kind of bow to him so it's like when he first got initially possessed he he was just kind of like comatose like he not comatose he was just kind of like out of he was like in shock and he was just like obsessed with going back to the shrine but he really couldn't like he was already out of it it was already like he was in a coma but he was still moving around if that makes sense so now it looks like he's in a new body he's new flesh and he can now move around so now i guess he like his main goal was to become of flesh and become a being and possess a body that was empty so he could create it to his own and he can move about willingly again guys it's up to interpretation let me know what you think below in the comments let me know what you thought about the film in the comments like if you go and check it out i where did i see it i believe did i read it i think i saw it on hulu it might be on hulu i don't know just check it out guys I think it's on HBO Max for sure, but let me know what you thought about it, guys. Yeah, guys, again, like, subscribe, please share my stuff, and always remember, especially in this damn film, if you're not sinning, you're not having fun. Rock on, guys.